Tuesday night baseball action did not disappoint tonight in the Bronx with the Yankees and Blue Jays having one of the most exciting games of the season thus far, ending in walk-off fashion thanks to a home run by Aaron Judge to lift the Bronx Bombers over the Toronto Blue Jays 6-5. to Luis Severino got the start for the Yankees with UC Kikuchi getting the ball for the Blue Jays. Severino got into some early trouble in this one, giving up a leadoff homer to start the game to George Springer in the first inning. And then again in the second, he got into more trouble when he led the first two runners of the inning on before Santiago Espinal knocked them both in on a double off the wall. Originally called a home run, was overturned to a ground row double to make the score three to nothing. Now after this, Severino started to get in a groove. He would finish pitching scoreless baseball for the rest of his outing that lasted into the fifth inning, including striking out eight Blue Jays. Although Severino got back on track, it would take until the sixth inning for the Yankees lineup to do so, who were hitless through their first five innings before DJ LeMay who started out the sixth with a double followed by an Aaron Judge single. First and second, a sack fly to center moved the run over third, and Giancarlo Stanton would then blast a homer into right field to tie the game at three. Stanton stared at it for a little bit, and I think that warranted Yimi Garcia, the reliever for the Blue Jays, to hit at Josh Donaldson with the next pitch. As a result of the hit-by-pitch, the pitcher, Yimi Garcia, he would be ejected. Pitching coach Pete Walker hated this call. He went out, he argued with the home plate umpire. He, too, would be ejected. Now, things quieted down in the seventh as for scoring, but the ejections continued with head coach Charlie Montoya becoming the next Blue Jay to be ejected after voicing his displeasure with a ball that almost hit the head of Bo Bichette. Now, the scoring would resume in the eighth inning. The inning would start with Vladimir Guerrero earning a walk, and that would lead to Jonathan Luizaga exiting the game. Chad Green would come into the game. He would get a big strikeout, but Yuli Gurriel would create some trouble for the Yankees, blasting a base hit to left field, scoring Vladimir Guerrero all the way from first. The throw from left field would move Guerrero over to third base. And this would be huge because the next pitch by Alejandro Kirk would be a fly ball into center field that would score Guriel from third. The Yankees' next best chance came to tie the game in the bottom of the inning when they had first and second with Gleyber Torres at the plate. They were down 5-3 at this point, but Torres, he would strike out swinging to end the inning. Just when you thought it was all over, after back-to-back walks in the bottom of the ninth, Aaron Judge stepped up to the plate and launched a walk-off, no-doubter homer to left field to win the game for the Yankees 6-5. to After the game, Judge talked about how he approached the situation and not let the moment get too big. You know, playing here in New York, man, you got a situation like that every single day. You know, every single like that, you come up in the first, you know, first inning with a couple guys on base, and then the crowd's on their feet cheering. So, you know, I know what type of lineup we have, the guys behind me, and I just try to keep it simple. And, you know, hey, if I got a good pitch a hit, you know, put a good swing on it and do something. But if not, I know the guys behind me will pick us up. So, it, honestly, it makes it, you just go out there and try to enjoy the moment. Judge and Stanton really saved this poor hitting day for the Yankees, who struggled all throughout the game, they could not get a hit to the first five innings. Hitters five through nine in the order left a total of 11 members of the Yankees on base. But that top of the lineup, how good are they? They have been fantastic this season. Aaron Judge on an MVP-type campaign. Giancarlo Stanton, he's got seven home runs on the season. And DJ LeMahieu reaching base 21 out of his last 23 games. He looks like his 2018-2019 self. Now, if you look at the AL East, the Yankees in a very comfortable position at the top of that division. Now, it is early in this season, but having a lead like this heading into the middle of May is really big to establish yourself as the premier team in a division, and the Yankees have done just that. The Yankees' next game against the Blue Jays will come today at 1235. Another big game for the Yankees against a division rival. So all these games matter when you look at it in August. So a big win last night and another chance to do so today. Once again, the Yankees win this one off a walk-off by Aaron Judge 6-5. to I'll have your coverage for the rest of the season, so be sure to follow me. But with WFV Sports, I'm Michael Calamari.